covering all of North Mississippi and West Alabama. This is WCBI News at 6, keeping you informed. For and against a new uniform policy in the Starkville School District are speaking out today. The school board yesterday voted 3-2 to two to adopt a district-wide policy, but some students and parents don't seem to like it. They do not. WC, WCBI's rather, Siobhan Riley gets both sides of this debate. The Starkville School Board's decision to require students to wear school uniforms next school year isn't settling well with high school sophomore Kelly Oliveri. We don't want new clothes. We, want, we don't want to look the same. We want to have a real change. We want to improve our grades and, you know, have higher graduation rates and levels. And with this uniform policy passing, it's just covering up the problem. Kelly has started a Facebook page for students who are against the uniforms. More than 130 have already joined the group. The school board district sent out two surveys for parents to complete, but Kelly's mother, Kathleen Oliveri, says that wasn't enough to make a decision. The school board might indicate that parents had plenty of time to respond, um, but in actuality, based upon what I'm hearing from parents, is they did not feel like they were, could adequately respond. I would have preferred if the school board had tabled this discussion for parental input. We had two surveys actually months apart. One of them was one of them was an online survey. The other had various ways in which they could complete the survey, both pen and pencil and online. Um, we had very little participation in those surveys. The online had the most participation, but on the online survey, you could uh, vote as many times as you wanted to. In both surveys, the results were split about half and half. School board members who are in favor of school uniforms say having a dress code policy puts less stress on kids who are less fortunate and can't afford name brand clothes. It also makes it easier to identify children when they're on field trips. My son was actually in a, on a field trip, and I happened to be one of the chaperones at that time. Me knowing probably a handful of children's name, to go into a setting where uh, we were not dressed alike, uh, I think the safety of our children is, is, is the reason why I voted uh, for uh, this particular um, issue. Superintendent Judy Cooey echoes that safety point. She says since the surveys went out to parents, there have already been two incidents on campus where students who didn't belong to the school district were on school property. In Starkville, Siobhan Riley, WCBI News. Thank you, Siobhan. The policy would require students to wear color-specific pants and shirts. Teachers would also be impacted. To get the details, visit our website, wcbi.com. Keep in mind the exact uniform policy is still not yet completed.